British Army adopted its Challenger II main battle tank back in the mid-1990s. At the time of its introduction it was one of the most capable tanks in the world. Actually it remains one of the most protected and capable MBT in the world today. However as the year were passing by the British Army was looking to improve its tank fleet. The Challenger II has been in service for more than 25 years and is now considered obsolete. At some point even one of the latest versions of the German Leopard II tank was considered as the new British main battle tank. Though there were also proposals to retire the entire Challenger II tank force. Recently Britain confirmed a 35% cut in its tank fleet and upgrade of existing tanks. The Challenger III is a new British main battle tank. It is an extensively modernized version of the Challenger II. The new tank was officially unveiled in 2021. A contract was signed to produce 148 of these new MBTs for the British Army. Initial operating capability is expected by 2027 when the first batch of 18 tanks will be delivered. A total of 14 tanks will be delivered to the British Army squadron, while the other four tanks will be used for training. Full operating capability is expected by 2030. This upgrade will extend their service lives to 2040 and beyond. The size of the British Army has been constantly decreasing. In the early 1980s the British Army had 900 tanks. So no matter how good the new Challenger 3 tanks are this is no longer a credible force. These 148 tanks will make up only two regiments. Such numbers are only sufficient for rapid reaction force to deliver units when you need it and where you need it. The Challenger 3 uses an upgraded hull of the Challenger 2. Engine and suspension were also upgraded. The tank is fitted with a completely new high-tech turret and packs a new 120mm gun. The Challenger 3 is fitted with an L55A1-120mm-L55 smoothbore main gun. The it is a modernized version of the German Rainmetal RH120 tank gun. This gun is used on the German Leopard 2A6-2A7 and Turkish Altai. It is claimed to be more lethal than the L30E4 120mm rifled gun of the Challenger 2. Interestingly Britain was the only user of rifled tank ammunition among NATO countries. The new smoothbore gun can use the most advanced globally available ammunition. Furthermore the ammunition can be pre-programmed to achieve more devastating effects on the targets. The Challenger 3 uses an advanced fire control system. There is an automatic target detection and tracking system. It detects, identifies, and tracks targets. It operates in a broadly similar manner as a smartphone does face recognition and autofocusing. Furthermore the fire control system is capable of queuing up targets. Fire control system includes panoramic commander's sight which gives the tank a hunter-killer capability. Though this feature has long been standard on most modern main battle tanks. Also the Challenger 3 has long-range thermal imaging cameras. Despite its age, the Challenger 2 remains one of the most protected MBTs in the world. It provides very high level of protection against direct fire weapons. The Challenger 3 has new modular armor. Protection of the hull and turret has been further improved. Furthermore an active protection system, such as the Raphael Trophy, can be installed. Though this is a subject of a separate contract. The Challenger 3 has an advanced battlefield management system. The tank is operated by a crew of four, including commander, gunner, loader and driver. Engine and suspension of the Challenger 2 were upgraded. It is claimed that the new British tank can achieve speeds up to 100 km per hour. Furthermore modifications in suspension improve firing accuracy on the move. In 2021 Britain announced a $800 million, $1 billion contract to upgrade 148 Challenger 2 tanks to the Challenger 3 standard. This comes down to around $6.8 million per tank. This figure might also include servicing and training costs. However such figures are typically associated with newly built rather than upgraded tanks.